Creating and selling Canva templates can be a very lucrative addition to your online business, whether it is that you're trying to sell them by themselves or incorporating them into your existing digital products. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways that you can create custom Canva templates using Canva, of course, and Photopea. I'm pretty sure you will need the Canva Pro version because we will be exporting SVGs, and PNGs with a transparent background. Again, this really depends when in time you're watching this video because these things seem to change all the time. Another thing that I really wanna mention is that Canva does not allow to export pro elements by themselves. You will need to combine two elements together and then download, which for this type of tutorial, it's not something that we want to do. Once you're trying to export, it'll give you like a little screen at the bottom telling you that you cannot do that and you need to select a different element. That is totally fine. Go ahead and filter by free elements. So only those that are free are popping up in your search bar. Select whatever you like. In this example, we're going to use a flower and then we can get started. As I said before, I'm going to show you two different ways. They both work perfectly for Mac and PC. The only difference is that the first one that I'm going to show you requires a few more clicks. Decide which one you want to use, create your own workflow, and get started selling Canva frames. Let's go to the first one. I have multiple ways to create them, but lately I have been loving this workflow that I'm going to show you. It's in a super quick way in this video. So basically what I do is I export or let me go here. So I create in Canva the actual tab or design or whatever using only shapes. Basically, you don't have to just use shapes if you're using them for personal use, but because I'm using them for commercial use and I'm giving you the option to use these in your business or to sell them or things like that. I choose to use only basic shapes because shapes cannot be trademarked so or copyrighted. So basically that is what I do. Using only shapes, I create whatever Canva frame is it that I'm giving to you, right? So what I do from here is I go ahead and I download as a PNG. So in this case, I'm going to download uh, pages 17 through 28 and make sure you're downloading with a transparent background. Then I go to photo P which is a free website. It's a free alternative to Photoshop. Anyone can access it is totally free. As you can see, it has ads on here. So you're going to have to put up with that, or I think it's $5 a month and it removes the ads, but I've I never needed to pay for it. It really doesn't bother me. So from here, what I do is either you can open from computer, which is what it says right here, or you can drop the files. So that's what I'm going to do. These are the files that I just downloaded. They are, PNGs with a trans transparent background from Canva. I'm just going to drag and drop. And as you can see, they have been populated here at the top. You can see it goes from number 17 through 28, which corresponds with the pages that I downloaded from Canva. So I'm going to start with number 17. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I have number 17 here. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to hold down the command key. I'm going to max out command key and I'm going to double click. I did it too fast, but basically you click or double click on here where it says background, then go here to the top where it says path, click on this at the bottom, the selection to path, basically because we want to convert it to a vector. So click on that, then go to layer, vector mask, current path, and we're done. All you have to do is export as a PDF, I just save it to my computer, just the way it is. Then I go to my Canva account, grab this PDF from my downloads folder, drop it in Canva. And after opening the file, I go ahead and right click, click where it says detach image, delete, and boom, I have a Canva frame. And we can test it if it came through perfectly by clicking on any of these um, backgrounds here. I'm just gonna drag it and boom, perfect. Yep, it looks beautiful and exactly what I wanted. And you just rinse and repeat. Now let's go check out way number two. 
Now let me show you the second way to do this. So you're going to start with your selected image. You're going to go to share, download, select SVG. Make sure you have selected transparent background. Click on download. And then we're going to go to Photopea. Drag in that same image that we selected. Let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. Now let's go to the layers panel and you'll see that the top one is already selected. Hold down the shift key on your keyboard and select the last layer. All of them will be selected. Now what you're going to do, go ahead and right click and select merge layers to create just one layer. Now you're going to go to file at the top you're going to select open and place, and you're going to bring in an image. For this example, I decided to use my face as you can see here. So back to the layers panel, we're going to right click on the layer that has my face. We're going to select clipping mask, and there you go. Now my face is inside the flower. Now we're going to hit file again. This time we're going to save as PSD. Now here we're going to do PSD one. You can name it whatever you want. Click save. Now we're going to come back to Canva and we're going to find that file and drag it into Canva. Once it is uploaded, we're going to click on that file to open it. We're going to double click on the flower. We're going to hit delete and boom, here it is our Canva frame. I really hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching until the end. Make sure you subscribe because I have a whole series dedicated to Canva frames coming up. I will link down below all the links that you need. On the next video, I'm going to show you how to use Midjourney to create your own images that will help you create Canva frame, truly custom Canva frame. And you don't have to worry about any type of commercial license. If you're scared of using someone else's clip art to create Canva frames that you're going to resell, it's best to use something like Midjourney or Dali to create your own elements that you can use. I promise you this is very easy to do. I have a whole video that I'm going to show you linked down below. So click on that. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.